Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing? Good. I'm assuming this is kind of shift change. So most people are either just coming in or just going home. Am I right? Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. I'd, I'd like to kick off just by saying who I am. My name is Nigel Atherton. I'm the Piermont Chief Executive Officer. I'd also just like to quickly mention the, the Piermont executives are also here today. If they could just stand up and say hi to everyone. I can't see with the light in my eyes. Sorry, but just so you can see the importance for us of the Piermont Way. We have the team here and the, there's just to reiterate, there's absolute buy-in from, from Piermont's head office and the rest of the group as well. I thought it is uh, interesting just to note that I personally started at this property in 1999. That was the start of my casino career, so almost 20 years ago now, uh, a long time. Uh, and there's also quite a lot of friendly faces. Uh, again, I can't really see the, the faces right now, but the earlier session I recognized a lot of people from when I was here, and it's really good to see that a good solid team that's been here for a long time. And I think it's an important point as to why we chose this property to be the pilot program for the Piermont Way. And that there's really two reasons. The first one, as I've mentioned, is that with me growing up on this property, it's always going to have a special place in my heart. I always have a sense that Grace then will be able to do good things. And I think the other really important point to highlight is that the economy of Secunda over the last few years has been a really difficult place to operate in. I know we've had Cecil really struggling. They retrenched people, they had the whole Project Phoenix, they cut a lot of costs. Uh, I hear some of the mines are busy retrenching people again. And ultimately it just highlights that we are operating in a really, really difficult space, in a difficult environment. And if we don't do something different and special, we're not going to keep our customers. So it, it's just an important point to highlight. You have challenging times, challenging environment, but I think we have the best team here and that's going to make all the difference. Also just want to mention the point or, or how we started this journey and that was again just to look at Piermont and to say that ultimately we want all of our properties to be the market leaders when it comes to an entertainment experience and we had to assess how we do things we looked at other successful companies and one example that always comes forward is Woolworths and we also looked at ourselves to see how we do things and what we quickly realized is that companies that get it right, when I say get it right, get the customer experience right and have happy customers and keep them coming back, those people are not companies that train employees on how to smile or have to explain what customer service is. I do think that, that fundamentally everyone here knows exactly what is expected of them. But these are companies that have a very specific service ethos, they have a common set of values and a common way of working together. They also have the tools and they have people that understand what is expected of them and they, they don't have what sometimes we hear about is red tape and problems that come through. The other thing that we picked up is when we reflected on ourselves is that our focus as a company was less on the customer and more about compliance or our finances or our bottom line and our profits and that type of thing and ultimately that is never going to give the customer a customer experience that he wants. So we have to change the way that we think, and that's coming through on the Piermont way. I also, I mean, in my own experiences, is I spend quite a lot of time looking at our customer care reports. So you probably all know this, that our customers can go online and they can tell us that they had a good or a bad experience. Um, and I talk to a lot of customers and employees, and I get feedback about some really good experiences and sometimes some not so good experiences. And the one thing that is always a common thread for me is that the negative experiences are typically not the customer that our employees or teams you don't care or that you don't try hard that it's often something that we've put in place a control or a lack of planning or some other problems that make it that you cannot deliver world-class customer service and I can only imagine that can be quite frustrating for you what is this about that this is about fundamentally changing our focus about changing how we do things and revisiting our different customer touch points. You'll see already that Willem and the, the, to Willem, the rest of your team have been working hard to make some changes on some structural things like the black card parking, our check-in experience. But I think it's also important that without your buy-in and your input, because you talk to the customers and telling us what are the things that drive you nuts, what are the things that stop you from delivering world-class service and areas that you need to be empowered to be able to do that without that feedback we will not be successful 
So I really just want to end off and say that please, we need your buy-in and support here. This is the pilot program for Graceland. And ultimately, I have no doubt that it will do great things for this property and will be the example for the rest of the group. So to finish, just to wish you all the best, good luck with it, and please make us proud. I would like to hand over to Tavo Makwana, the Deputy CEO. Tavo, if you could just take us to the pledge. I can't see you, but you were on the right before. There you go. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Nige. Um, Willem, can I ask you to come and join me uh, on the stage, please, yes, please for the pledge? Willem is taking the pledge for the second time after he took one at head office together. Okay. Um, uh, please, could I ask you to stand for the pledge? Could I also ask you to put your hand on your heart, whether you are left-handed or right-handed. Your heart is on the left. And please uh, say after me, and then we'll say it later uh, all together. I am committed to the Piemont Way. I pledge to lead, inspire, and uphold our values. To set the example and demonstrate my service principles. To strive for excellence in all areas. Now, can we do it all together? I am committed to the Piermont Way. I pledge to lead, inspire, and uphold our values, to set the example and demonstrate my service principles, to strive for excellence in all areas. Thank you guys, thank you for your time, it's much valued, and good luck in uh, the execution of the Piemont Way. On your way out, please guys, on your way out, please sign the pledge there, and uh, there is a, a water bottle uh, to remind us at all times. Thank you very much, good luck. I'm happy and proud of working for Piemont and I'm willing to do the payment ways and the payment values. Hey, if I'm thinking about Piemont, I, I think about a big family, a family that is united, a family that is delivers. It was a relaunch for the Piemont whereby we've been taught about how to treat our customers. It, it was very important for us to know that we must see customers as people first. And it all comes from a, a customer service excellence ethos and an inbuilt program. And we've gone through a lot of things today about respect, humility, integrity, all of the other values of the company. Uh, it's me like I have to take responsibility for, for my work as I check in the guests and check out the guests. Always smile and keep the guests happy. Reminded us how to treat people and to value our customers. Be determined, be loving. I learn a lot about smiling. My boss teach me how to smile to our customers to make them happy. We depend more on our customers. What we give them, it makes them to come back. I started as a gaming security, I get promotions, and then the salary is getting better and better. It's, Piemont is actually, it's in my heart. It's in me, it, it's in my vein, it's in my system. It was so inspiring and very uplifting. I felt so good. Happy, excited. And today, what I've seen here, it means even our executive, their, their heart and everything is with the customer. I've grown, I, I, I become something more and then I learn how, what, why, why I'm here for. I can see myself being a technical manager very soon, stuff like that. With the experience that I have, it can send me somewhere somehow. Uh, someone inspired me, Nkomofi uh, Fisliwe, yeah. Maybe some years to come, I want to be like her. I've grown in a company, also the side of the customers also, I've grown more. 
I want to grow more in hospitality and work under payment, of course. I think I've got a future with payment. Payment way, all the way. The rejuvenated, I've got more extra power. Even I feel like I've got a full tank now to go and force my customers on the floor. I feel so, so, so happy and grateful. It's nice to be at Paramount. We can inject capital into this place, millions and millions of runs, but if we can inject enthusiasm and caring by the staff, it will mean a lot more than injections of tens of millions of runs, you know? So it's all about the people.